Insects and plants aren't the only interesting things found in amber. This tiny orb is a bubble. Trapped air on water and rocks isn't something extremely rare, often incorrectly referred to as an anhydro, like the one in this quartz crystal here. These little fluid inclusions make for quite a shell. But what is so special about this bubble? Well, first of all, it's its age that's mind-boggling. This air and this water is approximately 20 to 30 million years old. There is even older amber available, some of it 75 to 130 million years. So, what does that all mean? Could it be that it's the same air the dinosaurs breathe? And if, how did it get into the amber? Well, just how air and water was trapped in the resin is a matter of speculation, but maybe during heavy rains, water drops fell into the liquid sap and were covered up, just like the insects. Now, this amber sample shows a series of layers of bubbles and debris, as if rain after rain had fallen on the sap and been covered over a long period of time. And it is in these tiny samples that scientists have found hints that the oxygen content in the times of the dinos was up to 35%, as opposed to the 21% of oxygen in our atmosphere today. So if there was more oxygen in the air back then, and less now, it would indicate that a severe drop in oxygen occurred. So, was the world back then so radically different? But we don't really know. We have witnesses from times past, but they're silent witnesses. We can only guess what all of this means. So what did kill the dinos? Could it be that they ran out of breath? Did a large asteroid fall on them? Well, the truth is, we don't know if we'll ever know what really killed them. We have pieces of a large puzzle, and it's only been in the past 100 years that we've begun to put them all together. But we still don't really know what this puzzle will look like when it's done. Amber is one of these puzzle pieces, although a piece that sometimes seems to create more questions than answers.